And good morning, fans of Mickey Ears and Butterbeers. It is Wednesday, September the 8th, which if you are a Disney fan, you know what that means. Annual passes are back on sale at Walt Disney World. Our family is super excited. We've been here for 14 months, and today we finally get our annual passes to Disney. So super exciting. I thought we'd take you guys along for the journey. Now, uh, we have a little bit of a special circumstance because I could have gotten online earlier. As a matter of fact, I did just to see what it was like um, and purchase our annual passes at 6 a.m. this morning. Uh, there was about a 30 minute virtual queue when I got on there. It seemed like it was a pretty smooth process. I was able to work my way through that process, but I'm not buying our passes online today because on the first day that the parks were reopened from the pandemic last year, I got a file made for me at the Magic Kingdom uh, where they put um, some money that I had spent on some previous tickets uh, in this file that I could later apply to an annual pass since the annual passes weren't available yet. And it was a fairly significant amount of money. It was about the amount of a seven day non-resident park hopper pass. So I still have the little ticket that the woman gave to me with my file number. Went to Disney Springs yesterday. This had no problem getting that credited, but I needed to come in in order to make that happen. So today I'm on my way to Disney Springs. Um, the ticketing center there opens at 10 o'clock. The promenade at Disney Springs opens at nine. So I'm leaving our house here near downtown Orlando at about eight, um, just to make sure that I can be one of the first people in line. They are expecting long lines today, both at that ticketing center and the ticketing centers at the parks. So if you went to one of the ticketing centers at the parks, definitely comment down below. Let me know how those lines were. I considered going that direction, but it was going to cost me $25 to park there. Um, so I thought I would save that money and go to the Disney Springs location instead. So we'll see how that works out. I want to hear how your experience was buying your annual passes either online um, or at the parks today. Um, also, just a, a quick shout out to my daughter who made us some pretty cool new Mickey Ears and Butterbeer shirts. Um, you can actually get those through our Shopify uh, link which is down below in the description. So if you want to support our channel and you just want uh, kind of some cool logoed merchandise there, uh, representing both Universal and Disney, uh, we would certainly appreciate it. But without further ado, let's head on over to Disney Springs. All right, so we just got down here to the Disney Springs area. The orange parking garage isn't open till nine. So we're parked in a parking lot across the street near cast member parking. However, I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about a little bit earlier. So uh, when I first got down here, um, it, day one, when uh, Disney was open after the pandemic, it was July 15th of 2020, um, I tried to purchase an annual pass. They weren't on sale yet. So I went to the guest services counter at Magic Kingdom and I said, hey, you know, I want to buy an annual pass, um, but obviously they're not on sale yet. If I purchase a single day ticket, can I apply that to the cost of an annual pass when they're on sale? And they said, yes, you can do that up to the seven day uh, ticket that we have available. And I said, well, that's that's great. Um, so they opened up a file for me um, at the guest services location and they gave me a little post-it note and I'm gonna kind of block out the, uh, the number here just for my safety, but they gave me this post-it note and they said, uh, hey, we've opened up this file for you. So when it's time to purchase your annual pass, come on back with this note and we will apply the amount that you spent on your, um, your uh, multi-day ticket towards your annual pass. So, you know, I mean, here we are 14 months later, right? In all fairness, uh, I did get what I needed to out of that um, out of that uh, seven day ticket that I had. But at the end of the day, that was money that was going to go towards a full year's worth of enjoyment, not just those seven days. Um, so yesterday, again, I came down here and I mentioned to the cast member at the ticketing center that, hey, I had one of these, um, you know, what should that process look like? Can I apply this after I purchased the uh, the tickets online? She said, no, uh, but come, come in and we'll look up your file and we'll get uh, everything applied based on the file uh, when you come in. So we'll see how it goes today. I'm not 100% sure that they're actually going to honor this uh, because it has been so long, but I'm hopeful. Uh, it was a significant amount of money. And, and again, you know, I think 14 months ago, nobody knew it was gonna be this long before they would offer annual passes again. So uh, we'll see if Disney makes their magic happen today. 
So just like that, we're in Disney Springs. There were probably about 30 people in line before us just right at nine o'clock to go through security. But we're headed straight over to the ticketing center to see what kind of a line we'll experience there. Um, so far, it doesn't look like there's gonna be too many people here right off the bat. So hopefully this will be a pretty efficient experience. And here we are, there is the line for the ticket center. Not bad at all, maybe about 15 people in front of us. Again, it is 9.03 in the morning. And so we're gonna be part of the first wave today. So it's about 9.15 and what they're doing this morning, they have a virtual queue that they're going to put everybody in. Now, again, we're only about 15th in line, but the store doesn't open until 10, the ticket center. And so this gives people the opportunity to just check in with their cell phone numbers, do a little shopping, maybe a little bit of dining this morning, grab a coffee, and then of course come back when they're texted when it is their turn to purchase the annual passes or take care of their other ticketing needs. Disney's gotten very smart about balancing the guest experience with obviously giving you the opportunity to spend more money. Um, obviously this virtual queue, virtual ticketing is becoming more and more prevalent, not only for things like this, but also with Disney Genie coming out in the parks, it's gonna give people a lot more free time, I think, to be out and about purchasing merchandise, purchasing food, things that Disney gets a great markup on. Um, and in all honesty, it's, it's friendly to the guests as well. I mean, who wants to just be standing in line, right? When you can be moving around, you can be experiencing other things. Um, shopping and eating are part of the guest experience. And so uh, if it's a win-win for everybody, I'm all for it. I actually am excited about Disney Genie. I can't wait to see what that service is going to look like. Um, I think the Genie Plus is going to be a lot like Max Packs that they have or had out at Disneyland, uh, which was a huge success and overwhelmingly people liked it. And it sounds like just a few rides in every park are going to have um, that paid admission uh, service that's going to be part of Genie Plus where you can actually pay to upgrade to go straight into a queue at an attraction. Um, which, you know, to be honest, I don't love the, the pay for uh, being able to skip the line ahead of others uh, mentality there but I do understand that if somebody's coming here for a day or two and uh, and that's all either their family can afford or that's all the time that they have I mean it, it's the only way that they can guarantee themselves to see or do something like Rise of the Resistance right and so that's something that as locals we're very lucky to be able to experience anytime but they may not be able to um, so I, I do understand the, the benefit there um, I don't think it's just entirely a cost or a, uh, a uh, profit grab for Disney, although that certainly has something to do with it, I'm sure. Um, but I, I'm not totally against it either. So it'll just be interesting to see uh, what the whole Genie program looks like when it comes out. I'm sure it's going to have some, some hiccups right at first. You know, most new programs do, new apps do. Um, but they'll fine tune it, and I think uh, very much like previous iterations of FastPass, it'll be something that'll be beneficial for people going forward. Um, so, you know, let's have a positive attitude towards it. Disney's not here to torture us. Um, they are here to make money. They're not a nonprofit, um, but we enjoy their product and we've enjoyed their product for many years. And uh, to be honest, I mean, I'm about to spend $900 on a Sorcerer's Pass for myself and, and then another 900 for both Callie and Emma. Um, and for a year's worth of fun, including the parking, um, you know, including the 20% off benefits that you get on food and merchandise, um, and, and the flexibility that you have to come just about any time with that particular pass, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty great value, particularly when you consider what people spend on their Disney vacations. So um, we're super excited to be part of it. Uh, we're grateful. I understand that you know, people that have been annual pass holders uh, previously, they're spending a little bit more now, they're getting a little bit less. Um, I do understand that, but I also understand what the value of this product is. And I don't feel like as a new annual pass holder, um, you know, I'm being cheated or I'm being charged too much based on the value that I'm getting back for the price that I'm about to pay for the pass. It is absolutely a beautiful morning here at Disney Springs. Not quite as many people as I anticipated being here for the annual passes. I think a lot of people purchased them online first thing this morning and then uh, you know at the theme parks not a whole lot open this morning a few coffee locations open but just a gorgeous place to walk around and get some vitamin d they've got the balloon up this morning also i've always wanted to do that it's definitely on my list comment below if you've done it is that something i should be afraid of as far as heights go uh, is it super cool what's the view like up there uh, i'd just be curious to know your opinion it's just so beautiful also they uh the top of t-rex 
Does that look like the Matterhorn to anybody else? Just sticking right up above there? Is that a nod maybe to the Matterhorn? Maybe Expedition Everest? I don't know. Um, and, you know, I've always kind of wondered too, I've eaten at the Paddlefish Steamboat before when it used to be Fulton's, um, but I know that at one point in time, it was actually a character breakfast experience. If anybody has any photos of that or any video clips or anything from way back in the day, I would love to see those. Uh, if you uh, can, can send me an email or, or comment below, that would be amazing to just know what that was like, because I bet that would have been a really cool character breakfast experience. It's about 9.40 now and we are back at the Welcome Center, at kind of the pause in between Welcome Center and the Ticket Center. And you can just see the people that have gathered to be in the virtual line and you can also see the folks that have gathered to be in the standard wait by, standby line. So a lot of people here but nothing too too crazy and everybody seems very excited to finally be getting their annual passes. So it'll be great to see all these same people at the parks here in the coming days. Guys, it's 10.06, I'm so excited. We just got our text and we are gonna go inside the Ticket Center. As we did it, we've got our annual passes, so exciting. We went with the Sorcerer's Passes. Uh, that's gonna give us just a few block out dates near Thanksgiving and Christmas. But other than that, uh, we're gonna be able to go and enjoy the parks. Uh, we are so looking forward to this. This has been so um, long awaited and I hope that everybody else is so excited about their stay too because I know a lot of you guys uh, were waiting just like we were. We're so looking forward to seeing you in the parks. Look for the shirts for sure when you see us and uh, we'd love to say hi and talk a little Disney with you. Um, lots of people here today, super excited um, and uh, just the energy was, was great. The cast members made it really special and uh, they, were, they were pretty efficient getting people through. I think it took me uh, probably about 15, 20 minutes to buy my passes uh, just because I did have that special circumstance, which by the way, they were great about. They uh, credited those, uh, those uh, credits from last year, uh, no questions asked, which I really appreciated. And so, uh, so now we can go enjoy our annual passes, uh, which will be headed to Epcot on Friday. So uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, hope you guys are able to get yours today as well. Um, and if you have any questions uh, about your upcoming Disney vacation or uh, just anything here at Walt Disney World right now, it is still a unique time. Feel free to post those in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer those questions for you. Until next time, guys, you guys have a magical day.